cover the inner bearing race contacts, presses on actually, all cleaned up and ready to go for new bearings. Same thing right here with this one rides. There's your uh, motor shaft with the armature on it. In the shell there you have the stator. of the motor is, what the cost of it is also, it's all the copper windings. This one's got multiple taps because it is a 208, 230, 460 volt. Our one big building is all 460, but over here it's 208. So this is wired for 208, which is considered low voltage. Three phase delta. All broken down. In a day or two, I'll get the new bearings and I'll reassemble it. Okay, there's the motor that I'm rebuilding that for. I actually put a new motor in already. I didn't get it on video. We were just hustling. Had the two other fans running. So now this is the quietest one out here. Motor lasted about 13, 14 years. So. For them bearings went bad, so that's pretty good. These ones over here, got a little bit of bearing noise, but not bad. Sounds pretty typical. That goes. Alright. Got the new bearings on the shaft. Cleaning down the cover plates with some uh, yellow death coil cleaner. Got some sprayed on the motor as well. I'm going to wipe it all down. Shine it up just a little bit, get the grease off of there. Okay, I got the uh, little end plates filled with grease where the bearings will slide down in. Never done this before. Usually these kind of bearings I've always put in units that had a way to grease them to a zerk afterwards. These have no such port or grease zerk, so I'm just going to have that pack grease against the end of the bearings when they, as the plate goes on, and then put some grease up against the bearings where the, the grease will push in right there, you know, That's what they usually do when you have some zerks to pump the grease in there. I wipe down everything pretty good, I'll wipe it down again after it's all put together, but it got pretty well. Nothing a little yellow death cloak when I can't clean up.
set. This needs to be finished right down, wipe off the core cleaner residue. Nasty. And uh, now I got a spare motor. Not too bad for a cheap, you know, repair job. Fairly clean and ready to be installed when needed.